Hey y'all, what is up YouTube, YouTube, Spark Mark and Mark and I'm back to do a unboxing for that I received just yesterday, that I pre-ordered and it came yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to do a video, so let's take a look at what's in here, and this one is a pretty towering size of a box, don't you think? Pretty size, Lee, huh? No chit-chat, how am I going to open it with something? Hold on. With this, I'll open it with. Well, look at here, y'all. It's from Shell Factory. What do you know? It's from Shell Factory. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Shout Factory, that is. And now, let's see what did I order. Let's head to the man cave and look at it. All right, y'all, so what was in that box, hmm? And surprise, surprise, I can't believe it. It Two items came in it, a poster and a movie. First off, the movie. The Sword and the Sorcerer. I got it, I pre-ordered it too, maybe last week. Uh, two weeks ago, or was it last week? It's here, it's a 1982 low-budget film. And I know one of the guys, Simon McCorkendale, who would later be in Jaws 3D. And you got um, Lee Horsley, Catherine Bell, Kathleen Beller, and Richard Mull. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Richard Lynch is in this film as Cromwell. And you got some good act, some good people involved, including the director, Albert Pune, who would later direct other projects in his career. And they got disc one for the 4K UHD, 4K scan from the original camera negative with audio commentary with director Albert Pune. And you got yourself the disc two with the film and it has special features. New 4K scan from the original camera negative, new audio commentary with director Albert Pune, new interview with Kathleen Beller and co-writer slash co-producer John Stuckmeyer. John Stuckmeyer, editor Marshall Harvey, makeup effects artist Alan Apon, and more. Trailers from Hell, editor, uh, trailers from Hell, Marshall Harvey on The Sword of the Sorcerer, theatrical trailers and TV spots. So yeah, two discs said, awesome combination, y'all. And all in all, amazing. Released in April 23rd, 1982. Coincidence, that'd be like nine years before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> but among other things, it was like a few months before one of my friend's birthday. So a buddy of mine, um, Mr. Zero, if I said his name, he was born when this film came out. But he wasn't born in April, he was born in the summer. So yeah, but the next one I'm going to show you, you'll be intrigued. The poster. Oh yeah, I got a poster. I think it's 18 by 24, I believe. So yeah. Awesome poster, awesome cover art. Let's see what the reverse artwork looks like in a sec. All in all, I got my copy. But let's see the reverse artwork very quickly. Like now. Here's the slip cover with the alternate artwork or the original poster artwork from 1982, that is. Here's the 4K with a reverse sleeve with the original poster art when the film came out. So you got two posters, two of best of both worlds. In fact, let's put it next to it. Uh, let's just check, take a just glance at it. Heck, tell me what you all think. Anybody born in the 80s or anybody in the mid 70s or in the 70s or 80s or the 60s, leave a comment down below or did you? And perhaps anybody born in the late 80s, early 90s, did any of your family members, cousins, relatives, aunts and uncles, maybe your folks may have told you about this uh, Sword and the Sorcerer movie. Let me know in the comments as well to know what you all think of this film. It is a B-plus low-budget film is what I heard. And it was success. Plus, uh, hold on. So the budget of this film, of course, was released, was under its budget of $4 million. And Roger Corman wasn't involved, but of course, some familiar producers like, say, Brandon Chase and his sister or wife, 
Marnie or Marion, uh, no, Marnie Chase. If anybody know Brandon Chase, he's the gentleman behind the 1980 film Alligator. That stars Robert Forrester. So yeah, there is suspiciousness that is that the producer did some B, some B grade low budget films. So yeah, the budget of this is four million dollars and released in April twenty third, nineteen eighty two, making it almost ten times its original budget. It grossed thirty nine point one million dollars. Distributed by Group One International Distribution Organization Ltd. So yeah, this indeed is a great low budget film and it was written by albert pune as well tom kowalski who is Kowalski, uh, kowalski if i um <laughs> kurnowski and john v stuckmeyer so yeah these are the people that wrote the script but albert pune wrote as well but directed the script and all in all it's a fun film what's not there to like about this movie not there's nothing to hate about it there's nothing to hate What's not there to like? It's B grade, all practical, some good special effects. And you got good good special features. Anybody who has it, go check it out. Or if anyone hasn't, go see it on YouTube or buy it. Pull the trigger. And let's see the artworks. One is the alternate, one is the original poster artwork of the film. And the other one is the alternate artwork which is the 4K version of the film. So you got best of both worlds here. Definitely best of both worlds. So yeah, pull, get your hands on the film and get it like now. So yeah, amazing, right? So anyways, um. Hope you enjoy this video unboxing, of course, and enjoy the rest of the day. Be safe. God bless you. Catch you on the next vid. I'm really going to enjoy this film.